Glomerulopathy or glomerular dysfunction can present clinically with nephrotic syndrome, which includes proteinuria, hyperalbuminemia, and edema, or it could present as nephritic syndrome with proteinuria, hematuria, hypertension, and a risk of an acute kidney injury. The diseases that cause glomerulopathies can present as a purely nephrotic picture, as a purely nephritic picture, or some diseases can present with a mixed picture and include uh, features of both presentations. Purely nephrotic diseases include minimal change disease and membranous glomerular nephritis, both of which start with the letter M. And some purely nephritic diseases include the anchor positive diseases, anti-glomerular basement membrane disease, IgA nephropathy, and another one is post-streptococcal glomerular nephritis, which will bring back an ASOC positive test or anti-streptolysin O test. So all of them have the letter A involved. Diseases that cause the mixed picture include focal segmental glomerular nephritis, nodular nephropathies, which include amyloidosis and diabetes, and membranoproliferative glomerular nephritis, which classically is right in the centre of both syndromes and includes all features of both syndromes. And finally, don't forget lupus, which can present as any type of glomerulopathy, so as a purely nephrotic, purely nephritic, or as a mixed picture as well. So that concludes a quick presentation on glomerulopathies.